Dear congregation, today we gather to explore the importance of seeking help, both from God and from the community of believers He surrounds us with. In times of need, it can be tempting to rely solely on our own strength or to feel ashamed of asking for assistance. However, Scripture teaches us the value of humility and the blessings that come from reaching out for support. Let us delve into God's Word to discover the beauty of seeking help and the richness of His provision in community. Psalm 121, 1, 2 I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the Maker of heaven and earth. It is essential to recognize our need for help, both from God and from others. Just as the psalmist looked to the Lord for assistance, we must also acknowledge our dependence on Him. God created us as relational beings, designed to support and uplift one another in times of trouble. Philippians 4.19 And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of His glory in Christ Jesus. When we ask for help from God, we can trust in His provision. He promises to meet all our needs according to His riches and glory. Whether we are facing financial difficulties, emotional struggles, or physical challenges, God is faithful to provide for us in ways that surpass our understanding. Galatians 6 2 carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. In addition to seeking help from God, we are called to reach out to others for support. God often sends people into our lives to walk alongside us and help us carry our burdens. By opening up to trusted friends, family members, or members of our faith community, we allow God's love and grace to flow through them to us. James 4, 6, but he gives us more grace. That is why scripture says, God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. Pride and shame can hinder us from asking for help when we need it most. However, scripture reminds us that God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. When we humble ourselves and admit our need for assistance, we open the door for God's grace to work in our lives and for his blessings to abound. 1 Thessalonians 5:11. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. When we receive help from others, it is essential to do so with gratitude and humility. By expressing our thanks and acknowledging the support we receive, we affirm the value of community and encourage others to continue offering their assistance. Matthew 25, 40. The king will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Just as we receive help from God and others, we are called to extend help to those in need. When we reach out to others with compassion and generosity, we reflect the love of Christ and fulfill his commandment to love our neighbors as ourselves. 2 Corinthians 12, 9, 10, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in the weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. That is why, for Christ's sake, I delight in weaknesses, in insults, in hardships, in persecutions, in difficulties. For when I am weak, then I am strong. In our moments of vulnerability, we often discover the true depth of God's grace and strength. Instead of seeing our weaknesses as obstacles, let us embrace them as opportunities for Christ's power to be revealed in us. By opening up about our struggles and seeking help, we allow God's strength to shine through our weaknesses, bringing glory to His name. Ecclesiastes 4, 9, 12. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. In times of need, the support of community is invaluable. When we come together, we strengthen one another and provide comfort, encouragement, and assistance. Let us lean on our brothers and sisters in Christ, knowing that we are stronger together than we could ever be alone. As we share our burdens and support one another, we reflect the love and unity of the body of Christ. Isaiah 40, 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Even in our moments of despair, let us hold fast to the hope we have in the Lord. He promises to renew our strength and sustain us through every trial. As we wait on Him with patience and trust, He will provide for our needs and guide us on the path to healing and restoration. Joshua 1.9, Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous? Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. As we navigate through challenges and seek help from God and others, let us do so with courage and faith. Remember that God is with us every step of the way, guiding us, strengthening us, and leading us into a future filled with hope and purpose. With His help and the support of our community, we can overcome any obstacle and emerge stronger than ever before. Matthew 6.14.15, for if you forgive other people when they sin against you, 
your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. Forgiveness is a cornerstone of healing and restoration. As we seek help and support, let us also extend forgiveness to those who have wronged us. By releasing the burden of resentment and bitterness, we open ourselves to God's healing and allow His love to flow through us. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, 18. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Even in the midst of trials, let us cultivate a spirit of gratitude by focusing on the blessings we have received and expressing thankfulness to God and others. We shift our perspective and invite joy into our lives. Gratitude is a powerful antidote to despair, reminding us of God's faithfulness and goodness. Proverbs 3, 5, 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him and He will make your paths straight. Ultimately, finding help and healing requires surrendering control to God's sovereignty. Instead of relying solely on our own strength and understanding, let us trust in the wisdom and guidance of our Heavenly Father. As we submit to His will and follow His leading, He will navigate us through the darkest valleys and lead us into the light of His love and grace. Dear brothers and sisters, as we conclude this sermon, may you be encouraged to seek help and support in your time of need. Remember that you are not alone in your struggles and there are people who care deeply about your well-being. Trust in God's provision, embrace vulnerability, and cultivate a spirit of gratitude as you journey toward healing and restoration. May the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen.